So what we're building up to is this messy question here where we have 15x squared plus cx plus 14 equals this. And I think you can tell that even just foiling this thing out, right, gets pretty messy. Okay, so we're building up to that and it's actually going to be super easy once we get there, right? So we'll start with this one, right, which tells us that we have this equation here and it's equal to ax squared plus bx plus c and it's asking us to solve for ab, right? So it's just really about expressing it this way. So here's what we're going to do. 4x times times 2x is 8x squared, 4x times 3 is 12x, 2 times 3x is 6x, 2 times 5 is 10, right? And this all equals ax squared plus bx plus c, right? And then all we have to do is combine like terms, right? So 8x squared stays the same, 12x and 6x is 18x, and then we have 10 equals ax squared plus bx plus C. And really, this question is just about making sure that we understand the format, right? That we're writing this mess over here in this format over here. And so we just know that this is our A, this is our B, and this is our C. And it's asking for A times B, which would be 8 times 18, which is 144. Answer choice D. Okay, so now let's increase the difficulty a little bit, like we lifting weights or something, right? So here we go. So this one gives us this expression, right? And so we're going to do the same thing, negative 3x squared, right, plus 5x minus 2, and then let's distribute. Minus 2x squared, right, plus 4x, remember you're multiplying by negative 2, and the negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Now let's combine like terms and let's be very, very careful as we do that, okay? So negative 3x squared and negative 2x squared is negative 5x squared, okay? Positive 5x and positive 4x is 9x. Negative 2 and 2 is 0, right? So there's nothing there, okay? Now, it's asking for the discriminant. Do you remember what the discriminant is? Do y'all remember from the quadratic formula, right? The discriminant is what is under the square root sign. So remember, when you're doing the quadratic formula, right, it's negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This part right there, b squared minus 4ac, is the discriminant, okay? So here's what we're going to do. This is our a, this is our b, this is our c, okay? So let's just put this in a different color right now, okay? So b squared minus 4ac, b squared would be what? 9 squared, which is 81, minus 4ac. So that's 4 times a would be negative 5, and our c, that's why I left it here, would be 0, okay? So 81 minus anything you can times 0 is 0, so it's 81 minus 0, which is 81, d. All right, now let's get to the big boy, all right? Let's get to the messy one, all right? So this one is the messiest of all of these, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by, I like this color, so we'll keep it. We'll start by expanding this, okay? So ax times bx would be abx squared, and stay with me on this one, okay? Even though it's gonna get a little tough. ax times seven would be what? Seven ax, okay? Two times bx would be two bx, and then two times seven is 14, okay? Now this equals 15x squared plus cx plus 14. Now, the question is telling us that a plus b is eight, and what are the two possible values for c? So first of all, we can cross out the 14s from both sides, because it's the same thing as subtracting by 14, okay? So now we have a, b, x squared plus seven a, x plus two, b, x, equals 15x squared plus cx, okay? Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of point something out, all right? Our ab is what's next to our x squared. So our ab is 15, okay? Because those correspond. Those are both of our x squareds, right? So ab is 15. And what else do we know about ab? a plus b is 8, all right? So now, here's the next thing, okay? And this is the part that gets a little, little messy, all right? Even before we get there, let me just make sure that we've got this part down, okay? What numbers multiply to give you 15 and add up to give you 8? Y'all know, right? What numbers would work out to do that? We could do 5 times 3 would be 15, right? And 5 plus 3 would give us 8. It's also interchangeable, right? We could have 3 times 5 is 15, and 3 
plus 5 gives us 8. So our A could be 5 and our B could be 3, or our A could be 3, and our B could be 5. But now here's why that's important, okay? So this has to correspond with that, okay? Now, I'm going to basically show you kind of a, a way to simplify it if this doesn't make it clear, because this is a step where a lot of people have trouble, okay? Many, many people get lost here, okay? So I'm going to express this a little bit differently. We know that these two correspond with each other, okay? So another way of saying that is we can say that 7ax plus 2bx equals cx, okay? If it's still a little weird, here's how we can make it a little bit easier, okay? Let's pull out an x from this side. x times 7a plus 2b, right? Because all I did was pull out the x, equals x times c, okay? Now, here's why this becomes important, okay? This is, why it, this is what we can do. Remember, it's asking for two possible values of c, right? Well, if c is equal to this, if c is equal to 7a plus 2b, here's all we have to do. All we have to do is put in our two values, okay? So, in fact, you can even, if you want to, to make it really, really, really clear, you can get rid of your x. You can, like, divide both sides by x, right? And then there you go. And now we're basically done, right? So we have two possible options. C is fixed, right? Now we have 7a plus 2b, right? And let's just put this over here. We have 7a plus 2b, right? And there's only two scenarios to test, right? The first scenario, scenario number one, is what? A is 3 and B is 5. So what can we do there? 7 times 3 plus 2 times 5, right? And what would that be? 21 plus 10, which is 31. That's scenario number one, okay? And by the way, we would know that's the answer because that's the only one that has it there. But let me just show it to you the other way as well, okay? Scenario number two is what? A is 5 and B is 3. So again, we're going to put it in for here. So 7 times 5 plus what? 2 times 3, which would be 35, plus 6, which is 41. Confirmed, all right? So listen, like, subscribe, comment, and share. I really want these to reach so many people and help so many people. So I would love for you to share it and let me know that this is helpful for you. This last question is definitely one that's worth like watching more than once and going back and like slowing it down because there's, there's a lot going on. I love you all so much, man. Thank you for all the support. You're amazing. I'm loving creating these things for you. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I'm posting like daily like one minute questions there. Peace, y'all. Oh, it was my birthday today, by the way. <laughs>